Got you, losers. <laughs> Howdy ho, crappy fans! It's me, Crappy Films, world renowned YouTuber, and now film critic, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let so, welcome back, everyone. Sorry, I gotta address some things real quick. I am so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where to begin with this. I'm so, so sorry. I missed a week and I said I was going to be strict and I was going to upload weekly videos. Scheduled a month. I had a strict schedule going and I failed everyone. I failed. That, 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 that doesn't mean anything. I'm sorry. I quit. Take it. <coughs> I'm so done! <laughs> Alright, yeah, these episodes are starting to get a little formulaic. Ooh. This happened last episode, jeez. So anyways, yeah, I'm sorry. I missed a week. But, I promise I'll try. I promise I'll try not to do it again, alright? It's a little thing called procrastination. And it gets the best of me, so you need this is the thing you need to understand about me, alright? This is not this is me as a person, right? You guys need to understand this. This is why my upload schedule is so bad. Insert image of uh, upload date. Sorry guys. Oh! Alright. Another thing I need to address is a thunderstorm is happening right as I'm filming this, so if you hear any <laughs> and I get struck by lightning you just understand that I can't do anything to help it alright mother nature wants to be right now and I can't help it there's nothing I can do I am no I'm, I'm a god gamer but I ain't a god alright so let's actually get to the review now finally alright so Recently saw Child's Play, the reboot, remake, I don't even know what to call it, because it, I guess I'll call it a reboot, because they're, at the very end of the movie, spoilers, spoilers, very end of the movie, they have a tease for the next one, not like no after credits bullshit, but you know, stuff like, that. yeah, so, let's just, let's go with my little formula I had last time, and we're gonna talk Pros and cons, baby. <laughs> Let's begin with pros. Here we go. So, I really, really like the, the style of this movie. It's like this nasty, gross-ass, grungy, dirty-looking movie. Everything in the movie just looks so dirty. Uh, I'll show a clip if I can find it. Maybe, I don't know about a clip, but an image to give you a general idea. There's a scene in the movie, and I'll put it it's right in front of like a laundromat and they go back to the spot like frequently in the movie and it's it perfectly like captures the feeling of this movie and I really love the look of it it has like a gross fight club feel to it and I I, I really appreciate it and it definitely aids in the horror aspect of this movie very very nice very nice that's all I'm gonna say let's talk about the soundtrack though soundtrack's pretty good I has this ch children's music box feel to it and it aids the movie pretty well it definitely contem compliments it Ugh, compliments the word I'm looking for my next point is about the new Chucky I'm gonna get further in detail about him later because there's a lot of things I don't really like about him. There's a lot of things that are setting me off. I'm getting a little triggered right now. <laughs> but there are some things that I genuinely do like about him. So let's start off with the positives. I'm a very positive guy after all. And that is that he actually has like, you have a reason to like actually care about Chucky now. I mean, before in the movies before, the other series, as I like to call it, because they have two series going on at the same time for money. money. But 
It's hit this Chucky is uh, let me address this. He is an AI. He is an artificial intelligent robot and he misunderstands everything the kid Andy says. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reacting like that, but he misunderstands everything the kids say to him and he takes everything very literally and he all he wants to do is like appease is like the child that he takes care of but then shit starts happening where he gets it gets the shit end of the stick and you really do feel bad for him until a certain point and that's when he starts doing everything in his way to just ruin the kid's life <laughs> so they give you they give you some a pretty good reason but then he's immediately just fucking backtracks and you're like mm, fuck you fuck you Chucky all right, another thing I really liked about the movie, and I, I'm a, little, I'm a little skeptical if I'm correct about that. I don't know, not 100% sure, but from what it looks like to me, I think they're using an actual, like, animatronic puppet. Alrighty, gamers, so I looked into it, and it turns out it actually is a legit animatronic prop. So, I got I just gotta give him some respect points for that one. Tally mark on the screen, baby. Epic sauce. When they have shots with the actual, like, I think puppet, it looks extremely good. It gives off, like, a very janky vibe, and it's, it's just generally cool. I mean, you don't see that crap often anymore, and, and used so heavily throughout a, the whole movie. They use it a lot, actually, near the middle, the beginning and the middle half of the movie, I would say, and then like after that, yeah. But I, I'll give them props if that's an actual prop. That is thumbs up from. All right, all right. I think we're at a point where we can talk about the cons. Let's begin. Let's talk about the things I dislike about the movie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First thing I have to address is. Chucky, the main character, and God, oh God, there's some things I'm not too fond of. Not heavily liking right at the moment. Um, first off, his design. I do not like it. I hate his design. But I can see what they're going for, and I can understand why people would like it. They give up, like they give it like a very 90s toy look to it it has like like a teddy ruxman slash furby vibe to it especially in the later part of the movie when they show off furry chucky yeah um i'll do an artist portrayal of that right here i can understand why they chose to go that route and it i can understand why people would like it like i've already said but I, I just think he looks deformed, and he looks like a Chinese discount version of Chucky. Like he'll, I honestly just, he'll never. This new Chucky just will never match the old original classic design. That that design is timeless, and I'm. Ugh. All right, I now this one isn't really a con. I wouldn't say this isn't really a thing that I dislike, and I'm not like, oh, I hate this thing. But I'm more confused and weirded out by what the hell happened in the movie. So, I guess I need to explain some stuff first. So, we have Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza, that's her name. The main chick in the movie, she's the mom of Andy the kid. And she has like a shitty boyfriend who's an asshole to Andy. And he acts like a dick to him at one point. It's like, assaults him basically, I guess. And then Chucky does some stuff where he's like, like, he takes that as he needs to go kill him to make Andy happy. Some dumb shit like that. So he, like, follows him to his house. He gets on, like, the back of his truck that the dude had, goes to his house, and for some bizarre reason, the, like, this kill scene that they have set up for it is the most bizarre, like, predicament of events I've ever seen. The guy has Christmas lights up, and he's going to take them down from his roof. And I'm I'm assuming the movie's not set in Christmas time. There's nothing that indicates that at all. Maybe 
The only thing that really displays that, I guess, is there's a part where they have like a big sale with the buddy dolls, the new buddy dolls instead of good boys. But they that's the only thing that indicates it's around the holidays. And also, for some weird reason, he, it's in his he's taking down the lights in the front yard, and in his front yard, the guy has a watermelon patch. Just like, it's not even like properly organized or anything. It's just like a patch of watermelons growing in his yard. And everything's just set up just so he, Chucky, can kill the guy in an extremely specific way. It, it's weird. It's not, I don't really hate it, but I'm a little weirded out by it. This is more of a warning than anything because, you know, I feel like most people don't really like these things and I feel like it definitely downgrades the quality of the movie there's a lot of ch ch really cheap jump scares in this movie like they're not even really good ones um, let me think of a scenario uh, there's a scene with Aubrey Plaza the mom character that I, I, I can't remember exactly how the scene plays out but the kid walks in I think oh yeah he the kid walks in he sees the Chucky doll sitting on a table and you just stare at it for like a solid 10 seconds and then the mom walks in and it's like boom and it does this loud noise and it's like that's so stupid i hate that crap don't don't do that please i'm like any studios please don't do that i mean there are people who like that and i can understand why people like that stuff because it gives the experience as if it's like a haunted house attraction at least that's how I view it, personally. But there's also a large majority of people that hate jump scares and would like a very, just down to basics, very, like, generally just unnerving horror movie instead of just loud <laughs> Because subtlety is what really makes a good horror movie in my opinion, and I feel like a lot of people would, would agree with that. So there's a large divide between these two groups, and that's gonna lead a large divide in audience members for this movie. It's the same thing with the It movie. A lot of the new recent movies, especially the Conjuring movies, oh my god. Especially those. So, it's, yeah, basically more of a warning than anything. So, if you do not like jump scares, probably not gonna wanna see this movie. I will say though, it's a pretty good movie all around. Like I said, there's some pretty dumb jump scares, and if you're not a fan of jump scares and you feel like it's cheap, then you know that may be something that turns you off. But either way, either way, yeah, I I'd, I'd say I recommend it to most people. So yeah, yep, I feel like that's that's a wrap, crappy fans. Let's. Tell me what you want to talk about next, and uh, leave in the comments what you think. I was on a very loose script this time, and I'm sorry if a lot of my critiques were a lot of shit, because you know I'm a lot of shit. My name's Crappy Films after all, I am literal shit. Alright, see you guys.